Well, it's been quite a while since I've done any car videos, so I figured I'd start with this one. This is a 1990 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme International Series Coupe. And other than this one spot right here, it's in really good shape. I mean, this is a nice looking car. He just got it washed and cleaned it up. Looks pretty nice. It's hard to believe this thing is 30 years old. Pretty nice though. I like these wheels. Very 90s car here. Although this W body platform came out in 88, 89, I think it was 86, not 86, 87 or so. It was like the mid to late 80s when they started making this body style cutlass supreme. But anyway, let's start her up. I already went in here and rolled the window down, so you gotta love these handles. They're always broke, but not this one. The interior, which is actually rather immaculate, is pretty clean. Other than that worn spot there, it's pretty clean in here. Not gonna lie. And it does have the digital cluster. And there's the back seats. Oh, well, here's the interior. It's a steering wheel. The right key out. This is a nice car. I like it. All right, you ready? Don't you just love that digital cluster? Beep boop beep boop boop computers. And yeah, you got the electronic climate controls. The old Delco cassette player in this trip computer thing. It's pretty cool. Anyway, here's she runs pretty good. Got a little over half a tank. What's this do? Oh, that's your ashtray. Cigarette lighter is missing though. You got your trip computer down here. The radio, does it work? I mean, it works, but sounds like it needs something done. The screen's dead on it, though, but hey, it works at least. Really annoying, though. The glove box is right here. Sadly, no owner's manual. Missing the O on the Oldsmobile logo. But whatever. But yeah, this is a nice car. Quite like it. Let's see how the transmission is. Ooh. You got drive one and two. It's automatic. With the uh, International Series logo down there. You got your lumbar support here. Right, left, and right. I'm not sure if it actually works anymore. That's where you put your cassettes, because of course, the 90s in cassettes. It's a pretty cool car, though. It does have the stuff on the thing here. Got your mode. This is for the air conditioner, I guess. I don't think it's on, though. There we go. Does it have AC? So you can hit this. And it turns up and down the fan. You only don't have to use the controls on the thing here. Cooler, warmer, by all your little things, defrog, rear defrog. 
And down here you got your trip computer, which is actually pretty neat. You got fuel range, economy, coolant levels, change oil now. 0 0.1 gallons used Monday, January 2nd. It's definitely not January, it's freaking hot out. What's this last one? That's the reset button. English or metric. Speed. Average speed, zero miles an hour. I wonder if... Nope. Trip complete. But yeah. You got all that stuff on there. You got these cool digital gauges, which I really like. Do it for the hell. Yeah. But yeah, it's a really cool car. It does have the HUD or, yeah, heads up display. Which I don't know, it says it's on. I don't know if you can even see it. I don't know if it works anymore. I don't see anything. You got your lights down here. I turned that off. You got your interior lights off. Leave it where it was. Turn signals. I love the old sound of these clicky relay turn signals. I just like them. I don't know why. And that's, you got your horn. Which does it work? No horn. That's kind of a shame. Oh yeah, there's the interior. Pretty nice car. Anti-theft steering column locking instructions. Yeah, that over here with the mirror. I guess you got a mirror over here too. So you can look at yourself while you're driving. You know, because that's a thing. Let's take a look at the uh, engine. If I can figure out where the hood thing is. It's under here. Maybe. I think the cable snapped on that. You got your pump to set. I don't know what that does. Parking brake maybe? You got the trunk button here. We'll check out the trunk. And I don't mind the train. You got your luggage rack out here. And a very spacious trunk, really. Pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. And there's all your vehicle information. So it's a freaking... U.S. built one, I guess. W body. I mean, really, the car's in good shape. I need to get the engine bay opened up, maybe. Let's see. Mm, where are you at? Uh, over here. You got the 3.1 V6 multi port fuel injection. They put these in most of the W bodies at the time. This one runs pretty good. I'm gonna close the glove box because it popped open again, but whatever. But yeah, it's a nice car. Very tight steering. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll do another rev.
close the glove box. And there you go. There is... Oh, she's having surging problems after that one. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, time to shut her down. Get the key out. Can we do that? There we go. But yeah, very nice car. I like it. I'd probably buy it. But really, I'm not sure if this is what I need to buy at the moment. But I like it. I like these old GM cars from the 90s and 80s. And this is no exception to that. So there you go. The 1990 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme International Coupe. Been wanting to get this one filmed for a long time, and I finally got to it. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.